Well, here I am at the site of some more wood chipping on County Highway B, about a mile and a half uh, south of uh, I-94. And uh, what I'm going to try to do here is just to show a little bit about what I've been doing with wood chips from the from looking at the pile that the people who did the chipping left. Here's a kind of a typical site with a dog barking in the background or something squeaking. Anyway, so this is a typical site, and in this particular case, it appears to what they're doing is uh, cleaning out the. The crick down there okay so it looks to me like the chipper was down there over the fence and uh, you can see in the distance there that they cut up a bunch of wood and let it lay there for whoever wants it I guess for firewood but then here here is the chipping pile and of course the chipper down here then the smaller chips in my opinion end up falling first here and the bigger ones that have got more mass tend to, to, to fall f higher up the hill. I don't know if that's a hard and fast rule, but it appears to have worked out that way for me. Okay, so there we are uphill, and now we're coming downhill, 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 a whole bunch of uh, longs, I would call them, here, that kind of got stuck on the, on the, toward the chipper side of the pail, or the, uh, the hill. You know, just an awful lot of this long stuff in here. There's good chips in here too though. I mean, look at them. There's some pretty nice chips. In fact, this particular pile, look at how deep those run. Wow, I like those. Those are some really good wood chips. But anyway, so let's now f go further down the pile toward the fence line. And I don't know if you can see the fence post right there, but there it is. So right here is a pile of absolutely useless, as far as I'm concerned, wood chip stuff. I mean, this is where it was, all the little branch stuff uh, came. This stuff here is absolutely, you don't even want to think about throwing it in your pail, you know. You just don't want to have it at all, or make it. So, uh, again, uh, right down here is a lot of really fine material, okay. Really fine stuff. really fine all right and then again as you go further up the hill the better it gets I just really want to refocus on this pile right here because boy this is this is nice stuff and deep and what that means is you could go in here and gather an awful lot of material in a very short period of time okay so now that's this first pile and I'm just backing up so you can see it and there's the road up there and there are two more heaps, uh, and uh, they're not as big as this heap, uh, and I'd have to go examine them closely, but they don't look as good. They look like they came more from smaller brush. Let's take a look. Again, this is uh, one of the smaller heaps, and there's a bunch of, of really fine, 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 fine stuff, 10 or 20 percent yield. For some reason down here, there's a batch of what it looks good on the surface. Uh, and then as we go up the hill, up the hill, we get to the bigger stuff again, okay? And uh, we move over here, and here's a pile that looks like mostly bigger stuff. There they might have tried chipping a whole tree for some reason, although it looks like it was a fairly rotten whole tree because uh, of making these long, uh, long chips like that. A lot of them in here. There's a uh, third and fourth pile kind of together, and this is kind of a mixed bag. Uh, if you didn't have anything else to chip, that'd probably yield probably 20 to 30 percent, maybe 40 percent uh, usable chips by my standards. Again, there's the crick that they're cleaning out. The final pile on this side of the road. I mean, this is absolutely 100% useless material as far as I'm concerned. I mean, whatever chipper they used here, at least what's on the surface, this is, this is totally, totally useless. A little bit of material in here, but no, it's just 
it's just really junk another view of that area with the wood chips we just examined now we're going to go across the road and look at down there this is across the road there are a couple of nice piles to investigate and then nothing for a while and then you can see where they've done brushing sawed up a bunch of stuff and uh, they probably had the wood chipper sitting about there I would say down there blowing the chips that way so uphill would be the best chips in general now if I go the other direction there's the bed of the creek here now here you can see trunks of a number of trees and there's some uh, material uh, right in this area that they just threw there in a pile now I don't know whether somebody came and cleaned up all these uh, stumps you know that those were uh, it was a good load of wood for someone or not but there is a fair amount of chips uh, beyond that and those chips are scattered pretty well into the brush which makes them a little harder to collect now I was here a couple of days ago and collected a couple of pails probably one pail from there where I kinda picked the best ones and then another pail from this area I'm down below those chips this is quite a climb up and down here but at any rate you can see these these piles and there's a mixture of good chips and not so good the thing that's interesting about this particular pile is that there's a lot of twigs mixed right in with everything else so it's like they were chipping everything from probably six inches down and there was an awful lot of, uh, of uh, twiggy you know meaning quarter inch eighth inch material in there that just went right through the chipper so as you as I picked a pail of chips it's very hard not to get a half a handful of this with every handful not too bad here but you see there's still these things are coming out with every with every uh, every handful just about you know that's kind of inevitable I guess but I don't know anyway but I guess all in all this is probably a 30 percent mound right there this pile here is sort of worse uh, it's got half inch stuff in it and then dust you know so not so good good okay I just walked down from that area up there which is really quite a ways down here's the bottom of the creek for reference and here's where they chipped the material deep into the trees so again my theory is that they probably had the uh, the chipper right around this area someplace and were blowing you know that direction so let's take a look at some of those chips. A fair amount of fairly good sized chips here on the surface. It always looks like it after the chips have been here for a while. It always looks just from the road like they're huge chips. So the fine stuff must just kind of filter down in so that you know you see these big chips on the surface and as soon as you dig in you see a lot of little stuff so it's an issue just because the top looks good doesn't mean it's going to be great stuff all the way down well here's where they chipped up against a tree as I dig down in this that's not too bad there's just pretty good sized chips in there all the way down and not too bad that'd be good that'd be a good site for eight or ten buckets and I think really a lot of this area would be oh maybe 40 percent yield but when I was here the other day here's another good looking pile from the top anyway nice size and they stay pretty good size going down in there obviously stuff to sort out but I went back in here the other day and selected my chips from as far back as you could go uh, one pail and then again uh, 
a second pail from up the hill. When I got them home, I had quite a few what I'd call lungs, the little quarter inch twigs that were oh two and a half to maybe six, eight inches long out of there. I thought I wasn't going to get much yield, but by the time I got them dried and sorted by hand, since my rotary machine is put away, uh, I had about a 55% yield from here, which I think is pretty darn good, really. So, even though this is kind of hard to get at, uh, if a guy doesn't have a wood chipper and wants uh, wood chips, I think all you got to do is uh, call a wood chip rental agency. Uh, call your local tree service, call your town township uh, chairman if you need to to find out who that is um, and, or call a tree service and then just ask about getting chips and of course if you had a way to uh, bring some sort of a high sided wagon and just park right behind the chipper uh, uh, you know where you can even kind of locate the wagon in the best uh, environment you know uh, for the big chips. Uh, I think a guy could do pretty well. Just one last shot of the wood chips on the uh, west side of County B down here by the creek. And uh, the thing I want to note here is the height of these piles. A lot of times you'll see a pile that looks good from the top sort of, but it's only maybe three or four inches deep. But these piles are pretty deep. And so, you know, if a guy was ambitious, uh, you might get a big yield out of that baby right there. You might also find that they did all the small brush first and that that's at the bottom so you kind of got to be mentally prepared for a big change all of a sudden too.